Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, in this tutorial video I am going to discuss about basic makefile. This is my first tech video published on YouTube, as you can see I have used TTS or text to speech for voice, sorry for the bad quality. Make is a build automation tool, it helps speed up development, it can intelligently build executables and libraries, according to some rules declared in makefile. A makefile consists of rules, rules are rules that says how to build an executable. A rule has three parts, a target, dependencies, and commands, and, usually written like this. Here, the target is something, the target is often a file name, the command is an echo function, that prints the word something, to the terminal. Now, save the make file, and go to terminal, and type make. It is executing the echo command, and, printing something. Now, we modify the command part, so, it creates a file, name something, and, put a hello world text inside. We run make again, and it creates a something file. The file contains hello world. If we run make again, the command doesn't execute. Because, the file something, already exists. Now, we create another file, named other thing. In the dependency section, we keep other thing, as a dependency of something. If we run make now, we can see that the echo command is running because other thing is a new file. But this won't work again. Other thing is still an unchanged file. The commands will never be touched until a dependency for the target is modified. If we modify other thing a little, which is a dependency, the command will execute. Make will run the first rule it will get in a make file. However, if we provide a target, make will run that particular rule for us. Let's clear it out. We create a rule, another thing. Another thing is the target, and other thing is the dependency. Another thing will run if other thing is changed. And the command is to write hello another world to something file. We add target name with make and the command executes. If you are having trouble understanding, don't worry, we are going to see some real examples now. However, you must have understanding about programming language C and header and object file. We have a make file and a main.c file. We make a rule where the target is main. The command is to create an executable file main from main.c. Let's make it a little complex. We create a random.c and a random.h file. Random.c has a method get random that generates a random number and returns it. We create a reference in the header file and call get random function. We will have to delete main first. Oops, get random is undefined. Because, we will have to compile random.c2. It works now. Keep main.c and random.c as the dependency. So, when the C files change, main will rebuild. Every time we change the dependency files, target main will rebuild. Also, random.h is a dependency.
but there is a drawback. Every time we run make, it's gonna recompile random.c and main.c. Even if only one source file changes, compiler will recompile whole project. This is not a problem for these two source file project, but what if we have a lot of source files? Then, if we change a.c, all source files will recompile. Which is very time consuming and gonna make development harder. To get rid of this problem, we will convert each source file to an object file, and link them together in main. Now we are gonna write make file as, if we change one source file, it will only rebuild its own object file, not the entire project. Main is our final executable file. It depends on main.o and random.o. GCC will create main from main.o and random.o. However, the executable only link with those object files. Target main will rebuild only if the objects are modified. But where is main.o and random.o? We'll make rules to create them. Main.o rebuilds if main.c is modified. And CC generates main.o from main.c. Again, random.o depends on random.c and builds random.o from random.c. Those two object files and executable main is generated. If we modify main.c, random.c is not rebuilding. Only those are built which are modified. Let's see some more modifications. Targets are often file names, but they can be individual rules only. Here we are making a rule clean, clean deletes all object files and the main file. We can declare variables and use them instead. You can use variable to avoid multiple copy-paste, also, to keep makefile clean and easily readable. Okay, 